Assume that x is a binomial random variable with n equals 100 and p equals 0.4. And they want us to use the normal approximation to find the following. Well, before we find the following, it'd be nice to know what our mean is. And our mean is n times p. So in this case, 100 times 0.4, which is 40. And our standard deviation is the square root of NPQ, which is the square root of 100 times 0.4 times 0.6, giving me the square root of 24. Now, the first thing says find the probability when x's are less than 35. I like to visually see what that looks like. So my mean here is 40. I'm looking for x is less than 35, so I'm looking for this piece in here. Well, again, the idea is the approximation. We need to give ourselves a little wiggle room. So we're going to add 0.5 to get a new x value of 35.5. Add that little approximation to it. Which means now we need to find a z-score. So z equals x minus mu over sigma. So in this case, z equals 35.5 minus 40 over our standard deviation, giving me a z-score of a negative 0.92. Looking up a z-score of negative 0.92 in the back of the book, I get a probability of 0.3212. Now again, that 0.3212 is right here. So I have to say 0.5 minus 0.3212 would be my probability. That gives me 0.1788, and indeed that is my probability. Now we have, change colors here. Now we have the probability that um, x's are between 40 and 50. Well, what does that look like? Here's our mean of 40, and we want that to go up to 50. Again, we're going to have to approximate, and we're going to have to approximate twice using 50.5 as an x value, and 39.5 as an x value. So I'm going to have to take 39.5 minus 40 over my square root of 24 to get a z-score. And my z-score is negative 0.10. Negative 0.10 has a probability, this teeny tiny little probability of 0 0.0398. I'm going to have to do another z-score, take 50.5 and subtract 40 and get the square root, all divided by the square root of 24, standard deviation. So z equals that, and z equals then 2.14, which has a probability of, probability of this piece here is 4838. I know this is getting crowded, so stay with me here. So my first probability, 0, 3, 9, 8, I'm going to add that to my second probability of 0.4838 to get my total probability of 0.5236. And there's not enough time for me to do the third one, so stay tuned. I will stop this podcast and start up another one.